Hey guys, what's up? This is Jack, Snow Leopard 2008 here, and I'm going to be installing Snow Leopard, uh, the WWDC09 beta. I think it's build 10A380, and uh, I'm not going to be installing it with, with the um, dual air DVD or a hard drive, but I'm going to be installing it with the SD card. Um, since the new MacBook Pros can boot off the SDs, I was thinking if it can boot off the SD card, why can't I install an OS using an SD card? So this is kind of like an experiment. Um, I know I've migrated, I went to Snow Leopard before and I migrated back to Leopard. And I'm just going to do this as an experiment. Um, so right now I have another five minutes uh, until, you know, it's finished uh, loading the DMG, Snow, Snow Leopard uh, DVD DMG onto my um, SD card. So and I'll keep you guys posted. So um, I'll start the video again. I'll pause it and I'll start the video again once I'm, you know, done with it. Alright guys, um, so, um, apparently the, the disk utility finished, um, you know, putting the DMG files onto, loading it onto, um, my SD card here. So I'm gonna go and head and reboot. I did, uh, back up all my data. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot and, um, uh, see how, how, if it works or not. Hopefully it does because I spent, I spent like 20 minutes putting it on, like 10 minutes putting on, 10 minutes to verify the data. So hopefully it does work. Um, as you can see, it's off. And uh, oh, as you can see, if you really notice, I have, I have a new haircut, and uh, talk about that later. Anyway, uh, that's enough sidetracked. Um, hopefully, it does boot. I am holding an alternative key option. Okay, there you go. It does boot. It does recognize it as a um, USB disk. So apparently, the um, SD card slot is on a USB bus um, to the main CPU. And uh, let's go ahead and reboot on boot on this thing. Yeah, and I'm gonna get another. I'm gonna stop right now, and I'm gonna get another shot when um, you know the install actually comes up. So. All right, hey guys. Um, so I'm back, and uh, it appear appears that this um, the SD card booted up um, or loaded the install screen much faster than before. I remember I waited at least like five minutes um, before with using the external USB drive. Or maybe my USB drive was just a little bit older or a little bit slower, but in any case, uh, here's what you see. Now I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, basically reformat my disk just to start fresh. So I'm gonna be back. Um. All right. Um, so um, I'm installing Snow Leopard, and uh, this is just like a uh, I don't know a picture, a glimpse, a glance at the Snow Leopard install screen. If you can see the um, the background is a little bit different than Leopard, and uh, that's installer. It's the, the installer. The screen itself looks the same as Leopard, but the background. Uh, the, I think the corner looks a little bit different. Sorry about the bad lighting. And uh, yeah, so this is just a look, a glance at uh, the install screen. So I'll be back when um, it finishes install, and I'm you know putting in my time, location, and username, and blah blah blah. Alright, uh, so it finished, uh, you know, installing and I'm um, booting up right now. Uh, it seems much faster if you do it on SSD, I mean, SD card or, you know, than if you do it on like a uh, external hard drive. Mainly because I believe, I'm not sure about the blueprints, but I believe the SD card slot um, holds more uh, higher priority to the CPU than the USB, uh, USB bus does. And this is a separate bus. So uh, if if you don't don't know what that means, that's fine. But I'm just saying that I think the SD card uh, it's it's not just some cheapo thing they just added in the last minute. It's a really good top quality SD card slot. So it's booting up right now, and it's gonna go to the installer. Um, not sure if I should wait because it might take a while. But um, but yeah, I will. Um, you know, like oh, okay, there it's it's done, and uh, it should give me the little movie. Sorry about the glare. Let me see my face. Oops. 
And there we have it, Mac OS X, Snow Leopard. So, um, just give you a quick, quick brief that everything in here is 64-bit. Uh, um, from the OS ground up, kernel, everything is 64, um, but does not have a screw, does not screw over your battery. Um, I heard reports that it only gives you better battery. By the way, um, on MacBook Air users, they've had they've been reporting 30 minutes better. Mac OS X includes a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. Yes, I know. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. I know. Okay. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. I don't care. God damn. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, that's it. That's my Mac OS X uh, install up, uh, Snow Leopard install uh, video. I will have a like a tutorial, um, overview. I don't know, demo of um, Snow Leopard when I install all the updates and put all my data back in and stuff like that. And I'll be using this OS um, until until the, I get my my DVD, my upgrade DVD in the mail, um, September 9th. So stay tuned for more, and this is Jack, uh, Snow Leopard, and I, I'm very uh, pleased to do this video for you guys. Hey guys, I just want, I just want to make a clarified point that this, uh, why I claim that this is the world's smallest OS install disk, mainly because of the SD card variety, there are three kinds. There's micro SD, mini SD, and SD. Now I have the micro SD kind, um, you just take it out. And the uh, micro SD card, it's the one I have, 8 gigabytes, and it houses a complete install of Snow Leopard. I think if you can fit it on, you can fit like two o o operating systems on there, like you can fit Windows 7, uh, the ISO, and also you can fit a DMG of Snow Leopard, the beta, the WWDC09 beta. And uh, just to prove that it does work, uh, I'm going to put my card back in and uh, watch the screen. Alright, so it instantly pops up with the uh, um, Mac OS, that OS X install DVD, and uh, yeah, and uh, also it shows up as an SD card. Now, if you really want me to prove it further that it, it's not a joke and it really works, it will really, yeah. So that's as much proof I can, as, as I can give to you guys um, without pressing continue and reformatting my whole hard drive. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, I'll have more videos for you guys soon. So this is just a cap um, epilogue, I suppose, of my video. So thanks for watching, and uh, have a